Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Ticket. In today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to show you how to use your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is right there, and project its computing power into a monitor, basically giving you a powerful little computer that comes with the phone. You can see that I have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse attached to my S23 Ultra, and then the S23 Ultra is projecting itself onto the monitor into a computer-like interface. You can see I have a bunch of windows right here. I got the Word document. I'm actually writing a script. I got the calculator application I'm using. That's my gallery. I'm just used, looking at my recent videos. At the bottom, you've got all the things you would expect from a desktop PC, settings, time, and all that stuff. And if I look over here, using the mouse, you can see I can access my applications from here. That's all my apps that are on my phone. I can also browse the web by launching the Chrome web browser. So it'll pop right over here. And of course, if you have a game that you downloaded from the Play Store, you can play that as well. You can even connect an Xbox or a PlayStation controller to the phone via Bluetooth and control the game using the actual player, just so you know. So same things you can do on a regular laptop or a computer. Before we dive in, if you want to buy the S23 Ultra, there's gonna be some exclusive links down below for Saki Tech viewers to buy the S23 at the lowest possible pricing and with maximum amount of freebies. Details in the description. This is gonna be a limited time deal. So let's dive in and show you exactly how to set this up. Basically for most people, if you have a Samsung phone and you set up something like this, you don't even need to buy a laptop or a desktop because most of the basic things that most people do can all be done here, browsing the web, checking your emails, listening to music, doing word processing, working on Excel sheets, and even some video editing if you so desire. So basically to accomplish this task, you're gonna need a couple things. So first and foremost, you just need a TV. Now the TV can be a smart TV with wireless connectivity, or you can use cables. Now in this instance, I have the phone and I do have a smart TV, so I'm gonna do it wirelessly. But if you don't have a wireless display like this one, you can simply use a cable that attaches to the USB port of the phone on one end, and the other cable attaches to the back of the TV in the HDMI port, and that's gonna do the exact same thing. In this video, I'm just gonna do the wireless demonstration, but basically you can use any monitor or high definition TV with wireless connectivity or via HDMI. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. They're not required, but it's nice to have them because they make input much more easy. I'll drop a link to a couple of wireless Bluetooth keyboards down below in case you're interested. So now let's set this thing up. Right now, nothing is connected to anything. The phone is just sitting there. The monitor is sitting there. It's just showing its own interface and we have a keyboard and a mouse. So the first step is you go to your phone and you go into the settings right here. And then what you wanna do is you want to go into the connected devices. You click on it. And then you look for Samsung DeX. You can see it is turned off right now. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna enable it. Now, once I enable this, it is going to actually start searching for wireless devices, wireless TVs in my house. Again, I have a couple of these guys and you can do it with any TV that you have in the house that has Wi-Fi capability. The only thing you wanna make sure is that the phone and the monitor are connected to the same Wi-Fi. So once you're ready, you just pick the monitor that you want to connect to and you just tap on it. And look what happens. I'm gonna tap on start now. It says start Samsung DeX on the monitor, which is right here. I'm gonna say yes, tap. Look what happens. It's gonna start the process right over here, okay? Samsung DeX is starting. All this is happening wirelessly, which is amazing. Now the phone is projecting itself onto this wireless monitor, almost like magic. And we have a desktop-like environment for us to use and work on and do whatever. All right, next thing you wanna do is you wanna connect the keyboard and the mouse, the Bluetooth keyboard and the mouse to the phone. So let me show you how to get that done. So again, go to the phone, go to the settings, okay? This time go to connections instead of connected devices. 
and you want to go into the Bluetooth. Now, when you turn on your keyboard and your mouse uh, using the power buttons on this one, it's at the bottom, this thing right here, they're going to pop up right here. The first time you do it, they're going to actually appear over here under available devices. Okay, but once you connect to them a couple times, they're going to be right here. So all you do is tap on them when you see them to start the connection. So it's going to say connected in a few seconds here. If it says couldn't connect, just tap the keyboard, okay, and then it's going to connect right away. As you can see, same with the mouse. You tap it, click the mouse button so it's active, and it's just going to say connected. Now the keyboard and the mouse are connected to the phone, and I can control the desktop-like environment. Once it's all set up, I can just sit here, watch movies, use my applications. Let me show you some more details that you're gonna love. So first thing you can do is you can right click on the actual desktop. You can sort the applications and all that stuff, clean up pages. But of course you can go into the wallpaper and you can change the background wallpaper for your desktop environment. Uh, you can use wallpapers that you have downloaded or you can also use the ones that are pre-installed uh, with the actual Samsung DeX interface. So here's one example here. So if I tap on it, it's gonna ask me what to do. I can do home screen or whatever. So now that will be my home screen wallpaper if I click on set. I'm not gonna do that right now. I like the one that's in the background right now, but you can download and set any wallpaper. So that's just one example. You can see at the bottom corner, we have a couple buttons, all right? So here you can access all your apps, as you can see. Uh, over here, you can search for an application or search recommended settings uh, from here. You have the ability to access your recent screens so you can see all the recent apps that are active on your phone or the dex interface doesn't matter and then you have the uh home button as you can see and you have the back button so some of the buttons from the phone actually get reflected in the dex interface now over on this side you can access if you click here you can access the quick toggles okay you can see your battery percentage all that stuff if you click this, you get an access uh, to your calendar. And over here, you have your notifications. So if I click over here, you are going to see all your notifications. As you can see, you can control the volume from here. Uh, you can take a screenshot using this. So they'll capture the entire screen. Uh, you also have the option to bring up a keyboard without the physical keyboard. So you can actually have an own screen keyboard you can use if you don't have one of these guys available. And then over here, what we have is it just shows you what is the language for the keyboard, which is this one right now that is connected to your phone. Now, if you look over here, you'll see an option that says settings. So let me just go to that right now. So if you click this, these are your phone settings and also the DeX specific settings that you can modify uh, as you are using this as a computer. So you can access all your settings here, but if you go to connected devices, and if you go to Samsung DeX, you can actually access your DeX related functions right here. You can see you have a lot of things you can customize here. The font size, the screen zoom, the screen timeout for the connected display, uh, the wallpaper, app icon badges. You can modify the task bar. So if I click on this one, it allows me to modify the task bar, which is this thing right here. That's a task bar that, be, that can be customized from the taskbar settings under Samsung Deck. I also mentioned that you can get some work done here. So I can actually go into my Word document here. So I can access my office from here. So look at this, here's the search icon. I'm gonna just type in office. And now I have Office 365, that's by Microsoft. So what I do is I can click this guy. It is gonna launch the entire thing. And you can see I can access everything. I can access PDF, Word, scans, so let's say I want to create a new document here. I click on this and I can choose what kind of document, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, PDF, or Forms. So if I chose Word over here, it will give me a couple options. I can scan a document and I can create a blank document. So look at this. Here's a blank Word document. I can start typing on immediately, as you can see. So great for Word processing or PowerPoint. And of course you have all the options. If you click this arrow here, you get the formatting options and stuff like that.
You can also see that I can easily do multitasking. So I have a bunch of applications open here. I got the Google Play Store, Microsoft Word, Calculator, Gallery, Settings, and they're all gonna show up at the bottom here. You can minimize them as you please. So look at this. If I bring this over here, the mouse, I can right click here, I can close it or even pin it to the bar, to the taskbar, okay? So look, if I click on pin, it's gonna get pinned and stay here even after I close it. So you can easily access it. So if I click it now, it's just gonna launch it as you saw. And I can minimize everything else here. Minimize, minimize, and they're all gonna show up here. I can even hover and preview above those, okay? Now, this is my gallery application. I can access all my photos. If I click on one of these photos, it'll just show up. Uh, I can go into one of my videos and I can watch the video as you can see. So this is just incredible, all right? You can do anything that you want here, no issues. And because the S23 Ultra has such a powerful processor, Samsung DeX and this desktop environment just works even better than before. It's faster, snappier, and you can get more work done quicker. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something new in regards to the S23 Ultra. It is a fantastic phone with fantastic capabilities. And because it is using the latest processor, which is super powerful, it does this better than any other Samsung phone. This feature by itself pays for half of the phone. Imagine having a phone that just transforms into a PC. If you wanna buy the S23 Ultra at the best pricing, see the links down below. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below as well.